decided they knew nothing about it, but they decided if it was in this kind of place, uh, they should make it also illegal. So I remember none of the therapists were expecting this. They thought they would have a few years and then they would all begin writing papers for the psychology magazines and journals and uh, all would be well and be accepted because it was the most extraordinary drug for psychotherapy. Um, in July of 1985, there was a terrible day when everybody I know got on the telephone and called everyone else they knew and told them what they had heard that the DEA was trying to do. Uh, many of them, including myself, cried. It was the most dreadful thing. It was as if in the days when there were no antibiotics, you had this one magical thing called penicillin, and it was like hearing that the government was coming down and going to make penicillin illegal. Uh, this is the way we felt about it. Um, now, when I worked with MDMA and some other drugs, uh, as a lay therapist, I don't know what the term is in uh, Germany, but the lay therapist is uh, one who has not trained and gotten the diploma. Uh, a lay therapist is an amateur, and I was definitely an amateur. I worked for a total of only three years, because at the end of that time, uh, Sasha and I began to write. But the first year was, uh, I was learning how to do the MDMA with friends. The second and third year, I worked with a hypnotherapist. Uh, this is a very long and uh, interesting story, which we put in the second book. I worked with her for twice a week, and uh, we saw, um, again, certain patients of hers that had progressed beyond their uh, original problems, and uh, she felt that they were a good, a good candidates uh, for the MDMA. And that was the most rewarding an extraordinary and intense uh, work I have ever done in my life. Uh, only the best of the writing experience comes even close to it. Uh, the, the best work was uh, when we began working on what God Jung calls the shadow. And learning to do shadow work is in itself difficult and very delicate and you have to know what you are doing which means you have to have had the work on your own shadow. Uh, the, another term for shadow is the dark side of yourself, of your psyche. MDMA uh, is the best drug for introducing uh, the patient to uh, what it is to have insight into his own psyche, into the good and the bad, the light and the dark, but without fear and without self-rejection or self-hatred. This is the magic of MDMA. Uh, it is alone uh, among all the drugs I know of that uh, that it can give this insight without uh, the terrible anxiety and self-rejection that uh, is the big problem in the first six months of psychotherapy for everybody. There is something about the MDMA that allows for the, the knowledge of what is going on inside yourself uh, to come up, but at the same time, it gives you this feeling, not just that you are able to accept yourself, 
Uh, but this feeling that God and the universe truly do uh, hold you in uh, its hands with love, that you are a treasure. And this, this knowledge, this certainty, that you are, as a whole, with your, your dark and light and good and bad, um, that you are of infinite value, is the greatest gift that anybody could be given. And so in this way, uh, the MDMA is uh, one of the greatest things that has ever uh, happened to the world of psychotherapy, of, of healing of the psyche. Uh, attempted to heal the soul. And uh, this is the best short introduction I can give you. And uh, the rest is up to you to ask questions. <laughs>